Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back again to On Hot Channel. People that don't know, my name is Enes. I'm working for you. So if you have any questions and video requests, make sure to drop them online in comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please be a witness for that because I made over 300 videos so far on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys. And I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. Still make the video for them. Including this one actually, because the person who asked me this question, I don't know. I don't even know if he's a subscriber. And here I am making the video. And if you are wondering which video, the video is how to show the discounted price on the product page on your Shopify store. And not just that, I will not show you the normal way, like go to the product page and edit it and add the price. No, I will show you the issue that many people have, which is the discounted price does not even show up on the product page. So I will first show you how to set the discounted price then I will show you why is it not showing. Now we show you a live demonstration. I'm not just a guess or talk here. So without anyone talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team, by the way. I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. In each video, I add smart customizations and tutorials. So by the video, like 70 to 60, the team will be completely different. As you can see, everything in here has been done in tutorials, literally everything. And some of the things that actually you need an application to do, which is the recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code, no applications involved. Or you wanna see something that will make you more money? Check this out. As you can see, I have four products added to the cart and I didn't check out yet, right? And this is the mouse cursor. I will act just like I want to leave or close the page and this thing will show up, which is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will only show up once the user is trying to leave and remind them, hey, you got four items in the cart, make sure to check out. And a button, of course, you can check out, pay you the money it owes you. And this is why using your own custom code. But I'll let you decide, man. So yeah, discounted price on the product page. That's exactly what I'm about to show you in this video. So the first thing you're going to do is access Shopify dashboard. Then simply navigate to products on the left panel right here. Click on products and let me select a product for demonstration. Let me select this one and necklace. And after that, scroll down a little bit and you might see an option here where it says price and compare that price. But for my case, it doesn't show up in here. And maybe for your case, it doesn't too. So you might be confused. How can I do that? That's very easy because you have variants. All you have to do is scroll down a little bit and click on the first variant. And it will show you this settings right here when you can set the price, which is the price that you're gonna sell the product for. And this is the comparative price, which is the discounted price that will be crossed. So as you can see, I have uh, 23.99. Let me do 25.99. So this is the discounted price that will be crossed. And this is the price that I'm gonna sell the product on. Then simply click on save button. Now, if I get back to the necklace page in here, then I click on the preview page. Check this out. It doesn't show. <laughs> As you can see, I added 25, just like you said, 25.99, the comparator price, but it doesn't show. However, on the save, if you are, by the way, this is added by using custom code, which will show you the saved amount on the sale badge. I already posted that video. If you are interested in that, make sure to check out the channel. As you can see, it shows saved eight dollars and if you can do the math that's exactly 25.99 and the other ones six and the other ones six because this ones i didn't change them i only changed the comparative price or the discounted price for the gold variants alone that's why it's increased but yeah i know the big question is why is it not showing that's very simple to fix this issue, simply get back to the Shopify dashboard. And after that, on the left panel right here, you will see this option below content, which is markets. Then simply click on it and it will show you the markets you have on your Shopify store account, actually on your Shopify account. And for example, if I click on Europe in here, it will show me an option on the left of the page. It says compare at price is hidden, as you can see for two regions and you can simply Click on compare at price option that says hidden and you will see this option again hide compare at and simply disable this option then click on save now it will say zero hidden for zero countries and now after we did click on save if I get back in here as you can see it doesn't show and I reload the page and here is 25.99 now it's shown as you can see and that's how you show the discounted price on the product page and even if it didn't show that's how you fix it as well and again if you have any video requests or any questions make sure to drop a line in the comment i would be happy to make a video for you just like this one but for now i think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one